Hello everyone, in this video we are going to determine if a given interval of a function is increasing, decreasing, or constant. The one that we're referring to as increasing, decreasing, or constant here are the y values or the output. So the question is, what's going on to the output values at a given x interval? Is it increasing, or is the value of the output decreasing, or is the value of the y uh, is constant at a given interval? Now I'll give you a trick on how to uh, determine increasing, decreasing, and constant at a given interval. The trick is that we trace the graph from left to right. Again, we are tracing the graph from left to right. If the graph, once you trace it, is going uphill from left to right, then it is an increasing at that interval. And if in any case, once you trace the graph from left to right and it's going downhill, then it is decreasing. And if in any case it does not change any of the y value, the y value does not change, then it is constant. So pretty much like if it's a horizontal line, then it is constant. Now let's take this first example right here. So if I have this um, line right here, if I have this function here, um, the interval that we can look at here would be negative infinity and all the way to positive infinity. Now here's the thing. In this case right here, we're gonna trace the graph from left to right, from negative infinity. Again, it starts from all the way to infinity right here and all the way to infinity. If we trace the graph, it's going uphill from left to right. So that means this function is increasing and that is increasing from negative infinity to positive infinity. Now try this one out on your own. Okay, so what did you have? So we start from negative infinity to positive infinity. Then we uh, trace the graph from left to right and it's going downhill. So that means this function is decreasing at this interval. Now, I would like you to remember this. This one right here, the parentheses that we have, whatever number is inside here, this is not an ordered pair because others are going to think that, oh, that's an ordered pair right there. This oh, is not an no. ordered pair. Okay, so let's take this um, next example right here. So we are given a graph and we're supposed to determine on which interval is the function increasing, decreasing, and constant. Again, we always remember that if we trace the graph and it goes uphill, it's increasing, it goes downhill, it's decreasing, and if it's a horizontal line, then it is um, constant. So from here, we, if we trace the graph from left to right, this is going downhill, so this is decreasing at this interval. Now from here all the way up here, if we trace the graph, then it's going uphill, so this is increasing at this interval. And from this point right here, trace it from left to right, and this is going downhill, so this is decreasing. So we can go ahead and um, determine what interval on this graph here is the uh, function increasing. So let's see where's, where's that increasing at. So we have at negative three, so I'm just gonna go ahead and write um, parentheses negative three all the way to positive one, and that is increasing. Now I am using this um, parentheses here. This tells me that it's not included. It was not increasing at that point because it was sitting at this uh, negative three. And so from here, we can go ahead and determine which interval or intervals that we have here uh, is the function decreasing. So it starts from here. So that means it starts from negative infinity all the way to negative three. Again, I am going to uh, use a parenthesis for each of them. And then we have another decreasing um, part here or interval, and that is from positive one all the way to positive infinity. And so we can go ahead and write union for this. That means in this um, function, the decreasing um, intervals are this, uh, this interval and this interval right here. Okay, do we have a constant for this? She can see there is no horizontal line, so we can just go ahead and leave that blank. Again, just to clarify, because others are gonna think that this is an ordered pair, 
This oh. is not an ordered pair. Again, this is an interval notation. That means these are x values. This means the x value from negative 3 all the way to positive 1. That's what, that's what this notation is telling us. Again, this is not an ordered pair, but this is an interval. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. We can go ahead and label them. Again, the tip is to trace the graph from left to right. If it's going uphill, it's increasing. Downhill, it's decreasing. If it's a horizontal line, then it's constant. So in here, from this interval, this is increasing because it's going uphill if we trace it from left to right. Here, this is constant. So I can go ahead and write constant from this interval. And then from this interval to here, this is increasing. And then this point, all the way to this point, this is decreasing. And from this point to this point or this interval, it is constant. And from this point to this point, or from this interval, of, or on this interval, it is increasing. So let's so let's label the parts here from negative five all the way to negative four. That is increasing, and then from negative four to negative two is a constant, and from um, negative two all the way to zero, um, then that is increasing. And then from um, zero all the way to positive two, it is decreasing. And from two to four, it is um, constant. And from four to five, it is increasing. Again, just a reminder, these values that we have here or inside these parentheses, this is not an ordered pair. Because others are going to think, oh, that's a point oh, right here. No. This is not an ordered pair. Did you get the same answers as this? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.